All right, so hi guys. We have these introductory questions and uh, polynomials. Let's just go through and uh, answer each one of them. So the first one is just asking for us to state the order. The second one and the third one we're adding, subtracting and multiplying. So the order of uh, a polynomial is simply the value of the highest power in that particular polynomial. So for example, part A that we have here, since the highest power is four, for this polynomial, the highest power of x is four, uh, this simply means that the order of this polynomial is four. Simple as that. For part B, we can see that the, um, the highest power, we just have x to the power 18. So our order in this case for part B is simply 18. Same thing for part C, we have power three, we have power x, we have power five, the powers of um, uh, the coefficient in this case, or rather not the, po the powers of x. So the highest power out of these three is uh, eight. So the order is uh, eight. Order of the variable is eight. All right, so we've answered that part. For the second one, we're supposed to add these two polynomials. So to add these two, it's just a matter of uh, basically grouping like terms. So we have x power three plus x squared plus three x minus two. We are adding these to x power three minus x squared minus three x minus two. So let's just group the like terms. So we have um, x power three, x power three of order three. So we'll simply say x power three, we start with the power threes, power twos, we have x squared and another x squared. Power one, we have three x and another three x there. Then next we have uh, the constants, which is uh, a minus two and another minus two. So x cubed, x cubed will give us two x cubed. The square, this will cancel with this because one is positive, one is negative. Same thing here, one is positive, one is negative. So minus two, minus two simply gives us minus four. So we've added. Again, uh, for, for us to add these two now, the first thing we have to do first of all before the adding part is we have to expand the first one. So let's go ahead and expand. So the expansion will be, this will multiply the first term, this will multiply the second term, and the same first term will multiply the third term, okay? So let's do the expansion first. So the expansion will be, x cubed times 3x squared. This will give us 3x raised to the power five. x cubed times two x. This gives us two x raised to the power four. x cubed times one, is simply x power three. Then now, negative x times three x squared will be minus three x cubed. Negative x times two x will be minus two x squared. Negative x times one is minus x. Now we are adding this to x power four, this is the power four, uh, plus three x cubed, plus three x squared, plus three x. So, like terms. We have a power four here, and a power four here. These are like terms. So we can say, uh, power five we only have one, so three x power five. The power four and the power four will give us three x power four. Okay, let's look for power three. Power three, we have this one here, and uh, this one here, also this one here. So if we put them together, this will give us uh, negative two, negative two plus three. This will easily give us uh, x power three. Because in short, this and this can just cancel. One is positive, one is negative. Power two, so for power two, power two, we have this one here. We also have this one here. If we put them together, we simply get x squared. Then for the x, we have negative x and three x, put them together, we get two x. So there we have it. We've added what we've been given. Now let's subtract. So we're subtracting this from the second one. So we're going to say uh, x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 8. So what are we subtracting? We're subtracting 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. 
So before we do anything, let's just remove the bracket and expand with that negative. So this gives us x power 3 plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 8 minus 3x squared minus 2x minus 1. Because remember, the negative will affect everything inside the bracket. Like terms, we only have 1 power 3. So x to the power 3. Power 2, we have this and this as our power 2. If we put them together, we'll get uh, 2x squared. Power 1, we have the 7 and the 2. So this will give us 5x. Then the constants, we have 8 minus 1, which is just equals to 7. So there we have it. Then for the next one, we are multiplying. So multiplying these two, let's rearrange them. Let's say x power 3 plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. This is multiplying with x plus 1 like that. So each term in the first bracket will multiply with each term in the second bracket. That is x power 3 times 1. Sorry, x power 3 times x will give us x power 4. x power 3 times 1 is x power 3. 3x squared times 3 will give us 3x cubed. 3x squared times 1 will give us 3x squared. 3x times x will be 3x squared. 3x times 1 is simply 3x. 1 times x is x. And lastly, 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's group like times. Power 4, we only have 1. So x to the power 4, because 4 is our degree in this case. Power 3, we have, um, we have this power 3 here. We have this power 3. So we have two of them. If we put the power 3s together, this gives us 4x raised to the power 3. Let's get the power 2s. Power 2s, we have this one, power 2, power 2. We put them together, this will simply give us uh, 6x squared. Power 1s, we just have 3x and x, giving us 4x, and the constant, which is 1, as it is. So there we have it. This is how we multiply, subtract, add, and um, state the order of these particular polynomials. So understand that this is just um, some basic uh, concepts under the topic of polynomials. So more videos will be attached to this uh, to this video just to show you how to find other expressions when it comes to, to polynomials. So as we stated from the beginning, uh, especially where the order is concerned, just know that the order of a polynomial is simply the highest power in that particular polynomial expression. So thank you very much. I hope it makes sense. Have a good day.